guess what? The men that you see who have been raised up and sent forth is a manifestation of that very authority. As it is written in the book of St. John, the 20th chapter and the 21st verse, as my father have sent me, even so I send you. So the prophets serves as a pipeline, if you will, in which the heavenly father channels his words to the planet earth. See that? And this is what gives us the authority to speak the things in which we speak as touching the releasing of the children of Israel, the recompensing of our enemies, which will be preceded by the violent takedown and overthrow of this place of America, Babylon the Great. And who cares if you are not in agreement? Seeing that the Heavenly Father himself co-signs us. Why? Because we are actually conveying his words. And that in itself sets us apart. It has pretty much placed the ministry above the reasoning and vain opinions of you mere mortals out there. Which brings me right here to the book of Jeremiah, the first chapter. And starting at the ninth verse, it says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Yeah, and what we read in here would be a dark sand concerning this chain of command from the heavens. The Lord putting forth his hand represents the heavenly father sending forth his only begotten son, our Lord Yahweh Shai, who has expounded unto us the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. See, again, it says, Then the Lord put forth his hand, which again represents our Lord Yahweh Shai, and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word.